Hello, welcome back. This is Minecraft Bytes here, bringing you an update video on the Minecraft 1.7 update. I've categorized all of the changes into this simple and visually laid out video. I will start with the world generation changes. The first new biome is called Savannah. This biome features acacia trees with a new acacia log, sapling, leaf and plank. There is no rain in savannah biomes, just like deserts, and they are very flat and allow horses to spawn, just like the plains biome. This new biome on the screen is the Mesa biome. This biome features several colours of hardened clay, which will be useful for gathering good decoration. This biome also features a desert-like floor composed of red sand. This was first known as the Disco Mountains biome. I am now showing the new forest biomes. The first one is the Roofs Forest, which is giant mushrooms naturally occurring, dark oak woods trees, and mobs which spawn at any time of the day. There is a new variation of the standard forest biome, which is composed of birch trees. This change means that birch trees will occupy the whole forest now, making birch trees more common. There is also a variation of the standard forest biome, which is densely packed with various flowers, making dye collection much easier, and allowing for some more interesting landscapes and views. A fairly major biome change is the new Mega Tiger biome, which features enormous 2x2 spruce trees similar in the height to jungle trees. These biomes also host two new dirt variants, one called Podsol with a gold brown top layer, and Grassless Dirt, which can also be spawned in using the give command. A new variant of the Extreme Hills biome called Extreme Hills M has been created, allowing for even more extraordinary landscapes and high mountains. Snow forms in the higher areas of this biome variant due to the new temperature changes in Minecraft 1.7. One of the most interesting biomes that has been implemented in Minecraft 1.7 is the Ice Plains biome, which features snow blocks placed in hills and packed ice blocks forming ice spikes, creating some interesting but strange landscape structures. A new wild type has been introduced called Amplified. This biome amplifies mountain height, generally making most mountains over the height of Y200. Extreme hill biomes reach the height limit of 256 blocks, and this wild type features interesting landforms such as floating islands, which are rarer or non-existent in a normal Minecraft world. Snow forms on most of the high mountains due to the new temperature system. According to the Minecraft wiki, Jeff created this wild type by accident and Notch convinced him to keep it. There have also been major improvements in the gameplay. Improvements have been made in the command system, fishing and achievement system. First of all, I'm going to be showing you the new commands. Ok, so the first command is slash tell raw, which is quite an interesting command and I'll show you a demonstration of it right now. So as you can see, it has put some text into the chat, and it actually allows buttons in chat which will be amazing for custom maps. So it can set the time to night, 
all day or night all day of course you can do this endless times so the way this works is you type in slash tell raw and then you need to use some json scripts uh, so the, i'll put a link in the description for a minecraft wiki page on this next command is slash summon which allows you to summon any entity such as mobs etc so i'll just show you a list of things which you can do so um you type in slash summon space tab then this will show a list of everything that can be chosen so for example you can spawn in boats etc so let's right click this and do the demonstration and you can see that it has spawned in an xp orb so let's collect that and this is how this command works now another command is slash achievements give you can give yourself achievements which is quite useful you can also give yourself stats which will um, allow for wireless redstone uh, by using objectives and stats and command blocks and of course redstone so let's try this out right click and as you can see it has given us an achievement now another command that has been added is slash set block which is quite an amazing command especially for custom maps so if we look above there are no blocks right click this and you can, as you can see a stone block has been spawned in test for block is not very useful for the ordinary user but for custom maps it's a great tool this gives you a redstone output depending on if a block is uh, placed or not so if we right click it click here as you can see it's successfully found a grass block but if we remove this glass block grass block and we try this again then it will give us a false output you can set a world spawn which is a command which I'm sure many people are looking forward to use uh, this will be especially useful for servers so if we right click this this sets the world spawn to zero 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 now the last but not least command is slash give now I know this has existed before but it has been improved enormously and it now allows you to add metadata or data tags so let's try this command out and as you can see it has given us an ordinary block but if we put our mouse over it then it has a custom uh, text for it saying strange blocks which I have added over here so if we look inside as you can see I've added law and strange blocks now again you can find um, more information on this on the Minecraft wiki and there will be a link in the description the fishing system in Minecraft has had some enormous updates so I'll be showing you this, this now the fishing system has gone through a much needed update there are three new types of fish which have been added these are salmon, clownfish and pufferfish Pufferfish can be used to create a water breathing potion which allows you to breathe for 3 minutes underwater. A new treasure system has been implemented. You can now find enchanted fishing rods, enchanted bows, enchanted books, name tags, tripwire hooks, lily pads, and last but not least, saddles while fishing. You can also find items which are labelled as junk, such as rotten flesh, leather, boots and more. So, let's go and try out the new fishing system. While there have not, not been uh, too many changes while actually fishing, you will notice that there are more particles visible, and also, when there is a fish um, approaching the fishing rod, then you'll see um, a line of particles moving towards it, and that will give you a s slight warning to make you right click. There are also two new enchantments which have been added to fishing rods. These are lore, which decrease the wait time of catching a fish, and luck of the sea, which increases the proportion of finding treasure relative to junk. I will now be showing you the improved achievements into the objective system. You can now set objectives or scoreboards. So to do this, we can use a command, which you'll see over here. And by pressing tab in the normal chat, you can find all of the different statistics which you can change. So let's create a demonstration. Right click this. And now what you can do is you can set the display so you can right click here and as uh, we go back here as you can see this is this specific stat is to mine stone blocks so let's start mining stone blocks and as you can see on the right the value keeps on increasing each time I mine a stone block and as you can see you don't even need to collect the item for this to count so this is a pretty awesome feature which will also allow some interesting custom maps. 
I will now be showing you the new blocks and items. Ok, so we have the Acacia Plank, Dark Oakwood Plank, Acacia Sapling, Dark Oakwood Sapling, and also what you can do is you can get 4 Spruce Saplings and Bone Meal. You'll likely be needing a lot of Bone Meal, so make sure you have a stack of it at least. You place 4 of these on dirt like this, and using lots of Bone Meal you can create a giant spruce tree. So, let's carry on. We have packed ice, which is a little like ice, but it is opaque and also it can't get melted. Podzol, which is a dirt variant. Grassless dirt, um, so basically it's dirt which won't grow into grass. Red sand. There are 10 new flowers available, such as this one, which look pretty awesome in my opinion, and we great for decoration. You can now get a potion of water breathing. And these are the new stained glass blocks, which are quite amazing and have been a much requested Minecraft feature. So we have all of the Minecraft wool and dye colours over here, and you can also get multicoloured glass panes. So you may be wondering, how do you craft these st stained glass? So let's go and get the required items over here. And you'll be needing 8 glass and 1 dye of any choice. So, put one die in the middle and glass around like this. And if you want to create glass panes, you will need to do this. Okay, another change uh, which is worth mentioning. If you have um, an item in an item frame and you hit it, then you get the item in the item frame without the item frame breaking at the same time. But if you want to get the item frame also, then let's place this back. You just need to hit it twice. Like this. And another change which is worth mentioning is that you can have portals of different sizes, which allows you to create odd width portals or even width portals, depending on your room size. And you can also create portals up to 23 by 23 blocks wide, allowing you to catch a, capture gas and bring them into the normal world, which can allow some great uh, wood farms also. Minecraft settings have also had some major much needed updates. The resource pack menu has been improved and made more intuitive. The video settings have been changed slightly. The render distance settings are now more precise, allowing you to change how many chunks you can see horizontally. Mip mapping has been added, which fades objects into di the distance, a feature included in many high graphics intensity games. Anisotropic filtering has also been added to the settings, which can be enabled to improve the graphics. However, it should be noted that we'll need a powerful computer if we wish to use these new graphics additions. Shaders have been added which allow for some interesting graphics changes. These may suggest the implementation of shadows in the future of Minecraft, as shader technology allows for shadows and better animations. The mod API will most likely be able to add more advanced shaders when it is released. The controls menu has had to redesign and allows you to send a key for sprinting, which will help fix a common bug which prevents sprinting due to keyboard lag. The default key for sprinting is left control. The volume settings have also been improved, allowing you to manipulate the sound volumes of blocks, music, note blocks, weather, mobs, players and ambient sounds. By the way, it is worth mentioning that nether portal sounds can be disabled by setting the blocks volume to 0%. The sound system has been rewritten, allowing for resource packs to include an unlimited number of custom sounds, no matter what length. The network code has also been rewritten, which will hopefully optimise server performance and allow for better implementation of the mod API when it is released. Servers can also show a custom 64x64 64 logo in the server settings section. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this video interesting and informative, feel free to subscribe to my channel for Minecraft content including Let's Plays, Machinimus, tutorials, animations and more. I've worked very hard on creating this video, so leaving a like and favourite would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.